everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Carla Tanager, and I am playing some Metal Gear Solid 2. Now, okay, it's like, I think I remember how to do this. <laughs> it's really, really easy to die here. Okay. Oh, it's so easy to die here. Because you can slip on the bird poop and die, I am not kidding. <laughs> Ooh, actually, I kind of want that. Oh, that's an AK suppressor. I don't really need the AK suppressor. Oh, this is going to be fun. Nope. Nope. This is gonna end well. <laughs> not yet. This is not a pretty sight. It's fine. Hurry up. Sex situation. Yep, I knew. <laughs> Even though it's been years, I still remember this fucking line. Wait. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. <laughs> Oops. Oh, tits. Okay. Let's see if I can remember how to get across here. There we go. Okay. <laughs> this entire section going around um, the outside of the half-ruined big shell is really fucking annoying. Because <laughs> it's so easy to accidentally get yourself killed. Uh, oh, right. Wrong button. Strut el primitur. No, wait. I didn't want it. I want it. There we go. See? <laughs> I remember what I'm doing! <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Jack, what's going on? See? Answer me. Jack? Jack! It's shit like that that makes this part annoying. I'm just gonna wait for this guy to come back here. Nope. Enemy in the area. Increase security level. That's fine. Oh god, my controller's stuck on vibrate now. <laughs> oh god damn it! <laughs> Uh, you guys can't do anything to me. Like, you can't fucking hit me. Like, <laughs> oh, wait, shit. <laughs> I forgot about the duders. This vibrate is getting really annoying. Just run across. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> Hi, you can't see me now, can you, bitch? <laughs> okay. As long as my controller's not vibrating anymore, so it's fine. Nice bulge riding. <laughs> ah, the models in this game. This is fine. I 
can hear it. I smell you! <laughs> Where is it? I, it's here! There it is. Okay, good enough. <laughs> Oh no, there's two of them. God damn it. This is why I can't have nice things. I can hear it. Where are you? I feel like I'm gonna go up here and it's gonna see me. No? I... Okay. Hi. against my kill count. Oh my god, just fucking... Thank you. I hope that doesn't go against my kill count. It was an accident. Oh, come the fuck on. There we go, good enough. That's it. <laughs> Okay. Who decided putting platforming in this game was a good idea? <laughs> Who decided? Heprofrication room. This is fine. <laughs> not see My him. <laughs> some unfinished business with him. Olga, calm yourself. The plan because of your personal feelings. Then screw your plan. <laughs> I've been waiting for this day for two years, and I will send him to the bottom of the ocean, right next to. How does she mountain. not see me? The launch comes first. Damn it. Where is also at? Not here. I don't trust him. Yeah, that's a good plan. Don't talk that way about one of your own. He's not one of my own. He left my father to die, remember? Olga, we'll talk later. How does she not we hear that the microphone's like picking me. things up as well? Alright. <laughs> I'm headed back. Then. Like it's, you should be able to hear the, to the directional down. microphone. What about the chopper? The cam off is out of action. Take the oil fence from Strut L. I'll tell my men to start pulling out. Phrasing. Not yet. Their retrieval comes last. The still Where the fuck is she? Sneak. Sneak. What about the other man? Oh shit. Hi, Olga. Luck? I don't think it's. I don't think it's luck. Listen, Olga, the code confirmation is in one hour. Keep the president alive until then. I know. No one gets in here. Except me! <laughs> Turn the currents on. Of course. This is literally the Otacon situation from the first Metal Gear. Right. I know the parallels are on purpose and there is a storyline reason for them, but seriously? The door stays shut unless the president manages to take out that circuit panel from inside the room. And it's no job for bare hands. Alright, come back immediately. So we need Nikita launchers. What? We leave for Russia when this business is done. I want half the money for that. Of course. Again! That was part of Why would you peek there, Raiden? Why would you peek? You knew she was coming towards you. We start you. living for ourselves after this. If there's anyone who wants to stay here, I want you to take good care of them. Gladly. Gerlukovich soldiers are the cream of the crop. It's time they went free. What happened to rebuilding Mother Russia? The old man is dead. The world is a different place now. It's your life. Just as a reminder, I'm going to say this again one last time. Don't try anything on us. <laughs> this is gonna end well. All your soldiers are screwed. I'm in front of the room where they're keeping the president. Everything alright? No. No sign of flooding. 
But I can't get close to the door. The floor is electrified. Don't test it. You'll be bacon. Mm, bacon. Any suggestions? <laughs> Remember the shadow I like Moses vegan bacon. VR training. Mom. Take out the circuit panel? Right. But there's no way into the room. Try ventilation ducts. Yeah, I think I see one. Look for a remote control missile launcher. You can guide it through the duct. Why would into they have? I mean, I know then why. The circuit panel. I know why they have an Akita right. here because it needs sure to be you here. Don't but hit the president. The president. Why would they have an Akita here? Machines. If we know the frequency, I can raise him. We've tried that repeatedly, but there's no response. It looks like the walls have a built-in radio shield. Right. So that's why Ames lost contact with him. If you need to confirm his position, you can log into the node. Nerd. Understood. <laughs> Locate a remote control missile launcher first. Okay. Did you say nerd? <laughs> Get the Nikita first. Yeah, 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 what else? Oh fuck! <laughs> uh. Great, now I'm in super vibrate mode again. Damn it. Now my controller's just vibrating and I don't want to unplug it because it might cause my webcam to malfunction. Well, I guess I just get to vibrate for a while. Phrasing. <laughs> President. Hmm? Yeah, you can use that to get him out of the way. This is annoying. Unplugging it can cause the webcam to malfunction. That's what's caused it to malfunction every time. Okay. So there's obviously no Nikita launcher here, so we gotta go to the first floor. And by first floor, I mean B1. Oh, good. The little bit of vibration. I just need to turn vibration off. <laughs> just need to remember to do that. I keep forgetting to. There's some there's some glitchy stuff with vibration when you're doing it through an emulator with a USB um, controller. Uh, where is it? There we go. I'll just shut it off. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it getting stuck in the on position. Take a shower. <laughs> this is a really bad time. B1 is completely flooded. You're underwater. You'll have to swim through. I'm fine with You're underwater. Why are you talking, right? <laughs> move forward by pushing the punch button. Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading with the left analog stick. Up will take you up. Down takes you lower. Left and right to face those directions. Tank the controls. The gauge will appear under your life gauge while you're underwater. The gauge corresponds to the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the life gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. Okay. He seems like a fishy. Oh, wait, this isn't where I need to go. Well, and this is supposed to be your little make sure they know how to swim tutorial for um, later on. Because there will be a point where you really need to know how to swim. <laughs> Alright, where the fuck is it? That's a bomb. Cannot remember where the Nikita actually is. Oh, there's Rubber Ducky! It's in here somewhere. Alright, there it is. Don't got time. Air! Air! Need air! <laughs> okay, this is fine. This is fine. I 
And you know, there's nothing that could be possibly annoying about the thing that you need air for later. Or need to know how, make sure you know how to swim very well for later, I should say. No, there couldn't be anything possibly annoying about that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's adorable. It's also annoying. If I remember correctly, there's multiple ways that you can actually get the Nikita into the president's, um, into the president's room. I have one I always use, though. And I distinctly remember, even though I haven't played this game in literal years, um, I do remember a specific duct I'd always use for this, specifically. And it's this one. There he is. No wait, not the RPG. <laughs> or RPG, not RBG. Wrong person! Alright, here we go. President, don't hit the president, don't hit the president, don't hit the president, don't hit the president. <laughs> you can use the knocking on the walls to make sure the president isn't in your direct way for this section. But I usually forget to do that. You can still get you can still get around him with Nikita. It's not like you've ever seen him actually run into. Like run into you, but so it's fine. This is gonna end well. President Johnson. Huh? So you're finally here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you all right, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. No. <laughs> I'm not going to shoot the president. I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you- <laughs> Just grabbed his dick! <laughs> what the- You're a man? <laughs> well, who are you? Fox <laughs> Grabbed his dick! <laughs> I see. Now things are starting to make a little sense. <laughs> like, Ryan's not that effeminate looking. He's really not. He has long hair. Switch over to nano communication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. He has long hair, but he doesn't have an effeminate voice and he doesn't have an effeminate body type. Do you read me, sir? He's uh, lean and muscular. Yes. Like what? Mr. President. And he has a noticeable bulge. You don't need to grab him to see it. Managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now, they're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. Absolute but you're the power! You have power. No, you don't. No, I'm just a figurehead. What? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware da, da, da. of their existence. Fifty Even hours of cutscenes coming up. Huh? Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the patriots rule this country. No. <laughs> Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Space defense was initiated by Congress. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. Dun, dun, dun. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. 
Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. Ooh, that hit really hard to how things fit. are going right the now. People are the shown world. what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Oh, huh? that's hitting a little hard to home. <laughs> be like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. Ooh, th th this is hitting a little closer home, you guys. <gasps> Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? They're not human. No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. I love this plot twist. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men. I love known this. As the Wise Men's Committee. But. Your office? The White House? There's so many flaws Nearly with it. <laughs> it's a story. Pawns in a game. But I love this twist. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Huh. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. I wanted to leave my own mark in history, but my ambitions were... You'll understand someday. I... I wished to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. Yeah, there's a problem with that. that justifies human. acts of terrorism? Yes. I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated Solidus. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots, even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. Sounds like an oligarchy. They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation, staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Can you imagine what would happen if they this, ceased to This function? is way too close to home with American politics right now. A massive political vacuum. A space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. I'm talking about an unregulated power struggle. Panic, civil war, chaos. Like it or not, the Patriots is an organization that must continue to exist. Tell that to MGS. So you Four. changed your mind because you wanted to avoid global chaos. Exactly. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And who is this Solidus? Des enfants terribles. My predecessor, <laughs> George Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. Neither Solid nor Liquid. He was a well balanced master. So he's gas. The Patriots saw fit to entrust with the president. So he's gas snake. Just However, call him Gas Snake. The organization <laughs> it's four funnier. Years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago. Shadow Moses. Or That's Plasma right. Snake. I could have called him Plasma Time Snake. The Chief Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this did not fall in line with the Patriots' plans. What's more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Ocelot, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data on the warhead. But in doing so, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army, a blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office. I thought he resigned. That's the story given to the general public. Following his resignation, the Patriots selected me, their new pawn, for the presidency. But that would mean that the presidential race was... That was quite a show, wasn't it? It was a well-scripted drama staged by the Patriots for the benefit of the public. Even the Democrats and Republicans were dancing to the Patriots' tune. Everything went according to plan. Sounds like the Patriots are um, the billionaire one percent. <laughs> Solidus health was scheduled to fail him, bringing about his untimely death. Capped? Correct. Oh, I'm but sorry, my socialist is showing. Their plot, Solidus went underground with the help of Ocelot. 
As he avoided pursuit, Solidus gained control of Dead Cell, winning over Colonel Golukovic's outfit. From there, he bided his time, knowing that his opportunity would soon arrive. What opportunity? The completion of the new Metal Gear project, an opportunity that would even his odds against the Patriots. By stealing the Patriots' most valued project, he would be able to place them in a very uncomfortable position. It's the only chance he has for survival. Once he has the new Metal Gear, he'll declare war against the Patriots. Needless to say, he must be stopped. Metal Gear is already operational. No, not yet. Da -da -da. What you saw was Metal Gear Ray, hijacked two years ago from the Marines by Ocelot. That was not the new Metal Gear. Then where's the new Metal Gear? Right here. What? You're standing in it. To be more precise, this entire big shell facility is the new Metal Gear. What do you say? <laughs> no, what? I'm quite serious. The upper structure that you've seen is camouflage, designed to represent an offshore cleanup facility. The main structure extends from the foundation all the way down to the ocean floor. The connecting elevator is located on the B2 floor of the Shell 1 core. Arsenal Gear. That's the code name for the new Metal Gear. Da, da, da. Arsenal. <laughs> That's right. Arsenal. We're talking about an impregnable fortress carrying a load of over a couple of thousand missiles, including nuclear warheads, all protected by a horde of mass-produced Metal Gear Ray units. But how is it a Metal Gear? Produced. The Ray unit was originally designed for the Marines to be used as a countermeasure against the Metal Gear variations throughout the like, world. Like, Metal Gears are bipedal, robotic, piloted weapons. Gear. So now anti-Metal Gears are guarding a Metal Gear. Arsenal Gear is not a Metal Gear. That's not all. Arsenal Gear has full access to the military's tactical network, giving it the ability to exercise absolute control over our nation's armed forces, not to mention our nuclear armament. In short, Arsenal was created to be the core of our country. What kind of idiotic weapon? Weapon? No. You're not seeing the full picture. Huh? Arsenal Gear is more than just a military tool. It's not a Metal Gear, though. <laughs> It like, by definition, Arsenal Gear is not a Metal it Gear. <laughs> it will establish a new form of control. The Patriots will use it to keep their place as the country's Judging from the rules. fact that it needs Metal Gear Rays right to protect it. they feel it. pressured and threatened. By what? They fear an overabundance of digital information. The world will drown in the coming flood of information, and they along with it. Hmm. The Arsenal plans include a system to digitally manage the flow of information, making it possible to shape the truth for their own purposes. So it's got a North Korea, short, the U.S. the Arsenal system is the key to their supremacy. The key? In terms of the yes. control of information. The GW Stop. system is the Patriots' trump card. Arsenal gear will be fully operational when GW is successfully integrated. Once operational... It stands for George Washington. ...the new form of power for the Patriots to wield. I had hoped to seize the project from them, so that I would be in a strong bargaining position. Bargain for what? I'd hoped to trade my way into their ranks. Nasolidus preferred rebellion. Outer Heaven, his plan to unleash a nuclear blast over the skies of Wall Street to break the Patriots' control over the business community, is also a key factor in his offensive effort. Outer Heaven? Listen, there isn't much time. The football served as the key for activating Arsenal gear. I've already input the necessary code sequence. It won't be long before GW begins to establish connections with other external systems and Arsenal gear becomes fully operational. Stop them before that happens. That is your role. Role? You've got to find Emma Emmerich. She's the only one who can stop that thing once it's been activated. Emma Emmerich? She's the system programmer for Arsenal Gear. I believe she's somewhere on level B1 in the core of this building. I thought the levels below us were flooded. I'm sure they won't let her die just yet, as she's the only remaining programmer for this project. According to Ocelot, she was being held in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. Cut transmission and get moving. I... This is card four. More cutscenes! Access all the way to Emma's location. Give this to her when you find her. What is it? 
a program for disrupting the control functions between GW and Arsenal gear. Take Emma to the computer room on level B2, shell one core. She'll know how to load the program into the main system. How did you get that? A virus? <laughs> That's right, modeled after fox die, a biological weapon designed to selectively eliminate personnel with a specific genetic code. But why do you have it? Yeah. The Patriots had it engineered as a failsafe. And Ocelot forgot to search. Forgot. You've got to hurry. No, he didn't. This is the only way you're going to stop Arsenal. No, he didn't. He didn't forget shit. Well, I've told you everything you need to know. There's only one thing that remains to be done. Huh. Kill me. What? what the? <laughs> There's no time to argue. The final check for my vital ID will start any second. If you It hasn't been an hour, hour though. Please prevent the nuclear strike. Cut it out. Uh, do it. That's your role. Uh, oh. no. You know, he could have pulled the trigger himself. It wouldn't have been that hard to put his finger through the uh the trigger there and pull it himself if you really wanted to get it's shot that bad. Right free speech, Mr. President. What free speech? The Patriots control everything. Ex -president. Rude. Hey, Ocelot. The President, why did you... Alas, my finger must have slipped. Bullshit. I'll see you around, carrier boy. Forget him. He did us a favor. Without free will. There is no difference between submission and rebellion. That's like the tagline for this My game, pretty much. <laughs> real choice is to put an end to this charade. Let me at least have the freedom to end it myself. Except that's exactly what the Patriots wanted you to do. So in the end, you thought you had free will, but you didn't. <laughs> Stop, Arsenal. This is my last order as your commander in chief. I'm counting on you. This is the most meta game in existence. Seriously. Also, remember the fact that this entire room is supposed to be, um, like, covered and stuff. So you can't get a code call in here, but the second you leave, you will. Um, that's gonna be it for this video, because I've gone over time and I really have to go to the bathroom. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Metal Gear Solid 2. I'll see you all.